What's going on guys? I'm back out here on one of my local lakes here in Weston. I'm going to be going with the Mojo Bass Rod again. So I used it for the first time last weekend. Didn't get a chance to fish during the week, but it is now uh, literally seven days later. It's next Sunday. And we're going to be trying this thing out again. So last time only caught one bass on it. I'd like to try it out a little bit more. Hopefully get some uh, more fish on it and see what it can really do. Uh, starting out with the uh, X-Wrap size 8 and then it's matched up with a 2500 Shimano Sahara. So this lake has a pretty good largemouth bass population, uh, also pretty good mine cichlid population. Those are probably the two fish that we'll encounter the most today. There's a bunch of algae here near the shoreline, so that might be a little bit tough. Might have to switch over to something a little bit more weedless, but we'll give it a shot and hope we can get some nice fish on this rod. Yeah, so as you can see, tons of algae here, close to shore among the lily pads. So I'll do my best to fish around them, but might have to switch over to something a little bit slower moving so I can pitch it in these pockets and not have to move it around so much. Fish on. First one of the day. Feels like a decent one. Trying to get him in through all this algae is going to be a little tough. I don't know what this is though. Doesn't feel like a bass. Might be one though. Ah, he's wrapped up in all this algae already. Oh, there he goes. Try to bring him in here. Is that a bass or a cichlid? Can't tell. What is that? I don't know. We'll, we'll see in a second, hopefully. Alrighty guys, there she is. Our first fish of the day. Average size mine cichlid, nothing huge, but still happy with this one. That's one in the books. Let's get that uh, lure back in the water. Let's try to get our first bass. So pretty quiet day so far. Just that one hit from a Mayan. No large mouths yet, but I'm still hopeful. Still got about another hour before sunset. Fish on, oh, no, missed a hit. Didn't feel like a big one. Let's get this thing out in the same spot. I hope that guy's still there. It's a small one for sure. So all I'm trying to do here is find these kind of holes in the algae like they're all right in front of me, cast down and then work this thing through those holes because there's usually there's some fish hanging out in the algae and if they see something in that opening they'll come out from inside of it and smack it out in the open. That's kind of where I picked up that first mine and that's where I had that one other hit but so far it's been really slow. fish on. A uh, largey. First large mouth of the day. Uh, he's wrapped, not too big, wrapped up in some algae. There we go. All right, here we go. First largey of the day. Not a big one by any means, but I'm having to get one of these on the board. So we'll let this one go. And we're almost at the end of the pond here. So we'll throw this X wrap around for a little bit longer. Then we'll switch it up over on the way back.
Right, once again, that last largemouth did come kind of on the edge, the back edge of this uh, little algae pile. So that strategy seems to be paying off. I'm fishing all over the place, but all my hits are coming right on the edge of these algae piles. Oh, that was another hit. <sighs> Missing a couple here today that doesn't make me happy. All right, we're down to about 20 minutes before sunset. I tied on the little Helgramite on a 1 8 ounce jig head. Now the jerk bait was gonna be used to just kinda um, basically cover a lot of water, right? I just threw it around all over the place, extremely fast moving. This little Helgramite I'm gonna try to throw just in some smaller pockets to see uh, if there's any fish where I think there should be fish, right? Any kind of pockets between the algae. Uh, it has been thundering and lightning out in the distance. So hopefully it stays away for at least uh, another about half hour or so. So let's see if we can pick up another one or two fish. I got four bites on the jerk bait, caught two. Let's see if we can do a little bit better on the Helgramite. So this one really just gonna drop down. Fish it super slow, a couple small little jigs here and there. Problem is, there's a lot of algae on the bottom, which makes this a little bit hard to fish. Had a little bite there. All right, let's do that one more time. Oh, got it covered in algae again, or already. There we go. That didn't take long. Fish on, oh, fish off, before it even hit the bottom. Okay, I think we can get one on this. I don't know what that was. Fish on. Large mouth. All right, first fish on the Helgramite today, if I could land it. Come on up here, guy. Alrighty, second large math of the day, biggest fish of the day too. This guy's not super long, but he's got a nice little belly on him. So first one on the Helgramite, we'll let this one go, and maybe we'll get one more before the sun sets and that storm rolls through. Fish on. Ah, oh, fish off. Oh man, okay, it wasn't a big one. Not sure what it was. Well, we're getting some more action on the Helgramite than we did on the jerkbait. I've only been using this about five, 10 minutes. Probably should have been using this thing all day. Fish on. Just kidding, it's a rock. Uh... All right, I lost the light. Rain's coming down hard. Storm's on top of me. Couple more casts, and I am out of here. All right, so back in the car. Uh, I wish I would have got to fish for a little bit longer, and I'm a little ups upset with myself that I didn't switch to the Helgramite sooner. The jerkbait produced a little bit, but not as much as it should have. And it should have been a sign to me to switch to something sooner because once I switched to the Helgramite, I was getting a very good amount of action. I only got to fish it for about 15 minutes, caught one large mouth, had two, three more hits, maybe four more hits. And on the jerk bait, I fished that thing for, uh, I don't know, an hour and a half or so. And I only got four hits on it, and that was on a much larger stretch of the lake. So definitely should have went to the Helgramite sooner. Upset that it's raining and thundering now. And I mean, the sun just set, but. Not an awful way to spend a Sunday evening. Managed uh, two largemouths, I think. 
I think it was only two. And one mine cichlid. So not the best day, not the worst day. Either way, I hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next time.